Hey guys, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. In this video, I'm going to create Adobe Creative Clouds package and then deploy it through SCCM. So, first of all, you need to have Adobe Creative Cloud accounts. You must have the enterprise or business account. So, to log into Adobe uh, Creative Cloud account, you need to go into Admin Console dot Adobe dot com All right, once you're here, if you don't have an account, you probably can create one here by clicking on create an account. So since I already have an account, I'm going to log in with my account. So I'm gonna pause the video, I'm um, sorry, pause the recording, um, and then I will start the recording again after I log in. So as you can see, I have logged in. What I need to do is click on to create a Adobe Cloud, um, Adobe Creative Cloud package. You need to click on packages. Click on, and then click on create a package. There's two options. You can choose the self-service package this one allowed user with our admin rights to install the package uh, by themselves. So the benefit of this one, user does not require administrator right. They can just install the package without, uh, with just the regular account. So what we need to do is we're going to choose the manage package. This options allowed you to um, control the application's deployment, change the setting, control the settings, and you can use this package to deploy using SCCM or Intune. So I'm going to click on Next. Platform, I'm going to choose Windows uh, Window 64-bit. Language, US English. Click next. So as you can see, the selected applications is Creative, Creative Cloud Desktop Application. I'm going to click next. Here are some of the options, um, Creator Cloud desktop options that enable self-service install. I'm going to check this. Allow no administrator to update and install apps. That's fine. I'm going to check that. Disable for syncing. So you can suppress automatically syncing of files on client systems. Disable file sync. Um, I suggest that you disable file sync if you are in the test environment. So I'm going to leave it unchecked. Enable browse browser based login. It's enable browser based login via Creative Clouds. So you can enable this. I'm going to enable that. Manage option, enable remote update manager. Um, this options allow you to um, update the client remotely using the features of remote manager. Redirect to internal Adobe server. So if you want to um, update to a different server, you can check this box. Install a package to a custom install Active Directory. If you want to install somewhere else than the uh, default, you can check this box. 
So I'm going to click next. Let's give this a name. I'm going to call this creative cloud. I think this version is 5.2. Click on build package. So as you can see here, it's going to, it's preparing and it's going to download the package for me once it finished. So the package has completed it. As you can see, it is downloading the zip file. Once it's finished, I can extract this file and then put it on my, on the SCCM network share. Let's pause the recording and welcome back. All right, so as you can see here, the uh, zip file has been downloaded. I'm going to extract this. And here is the files of the folder. So what I need is, all I need is the, the one in the bill folder. So I need everything from here. Let's copy, control A, copy, and I'm going to put it on a network share. Let's put it under software, Adobe CC 5.2. I'm going to paste it here. So this is all you. This is all you need. Um, so if you don't know how to create a SSM package, you can watch um, my other video. What you need to do is run the setup.exe um, with the command. So it would be. It, it would look something like this. Um, oops. Let's see. Notepad. So it should be something like setup.exe dash silent, I think two dash, two dashes. So the command line should be setup.exe space slash slash or dash dash silent. So that's it folks. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.